Hello, Jay Barino here, and welcome back. We're playing Black Chain. It's an indie RTS created by Borington. Let's continue the campaign. We're on Mission 6, Athena 1, and in case this was not clear, I have not played this campaign. It's just all these buttons are visible from the first time you open the game. So here we go, Athena 1. Commander, when I said to gather up those probes, I didn't mean it in the form of a scrapyard. I was this close to having all your asses court-martialed. But since your stunt also managed to disable all of Orinoco's looted hardware, I'll have to let it slide. Your luck doesn't end there. R&D confirmed what we suspected about Black Door. It's the method that could crack the Black Chain. We must not let it fall into the wrong hands. Problem is, it's kept all the way on Minerva. Our only fleet that has a chance of getting there before the competition is yours. Stellar United has already swarmed the Kuiper Belt, so get to it. We will have to build up our forces along the way. If Stellar United has claimed the belt, they must have the resources we need for such a trek. Minerva? For real? Well, there goes my Christmas, and the next one. Alright, we're not looking too hot in the... in the, the stonks.png meme department here. So we're going up against Stellar United, and uh, yeah, we've lost a lot of our value, but not as much as Orinoco. Let's go. Commander, I know this mission is more than we signed up for, but if Stellar United was to get a hold of the Black Door method, they could hold the entire crypto business hostage. And you think our suits would be any different from theirs? Honestly, I do. Last year, for example, we... Hang on, I'm getting a signal. Vessel approaching Athena 1. Identify yourself. Alert! Alert! The ship has been in there! We are under attack! We're decelerating too fast! I'm stuck on this wall! They are jamming our navigation system! Um... Find and destroy the navigation jammer? Casio reporting. Yes, Commander. Let's roll. Okay. Commander, if we could get to our lockers, we could grab our stingers to send clear out the ship. Stinger Maybe suits. The electropods can help you out with a push. Oh, okay, so these little guys are not affected because they're just completely I, I don't know, may because they're hovering? I'm not really clear. Um, but they're they're robots. Show me the way. So the okay, these guys are all yes, stuck. Use the electropods repulsion ability to free the trapped pioneers. And we have to get them here. Get your pioneers to the lockers. Well, those are space marines. Um. Okay, what can you do? So this is the same ability as uh, what's it? What's your name, Lieutenant Cassio? Yeah, it's it's exactly the same actually. But now we have units that can use those. These are actually really good, like very strong spellcasters. Knocks back a targeted ally or enemy. Can push enemies off cliffs. I like that. Target will reflect all damage taken for 20 seconds. That is a really long time to be made just completely invulnerable. And not just invulnerable, but in a way that actually uh, uh, reflects damage, too. All right, so we got to try... Knocks back targeted ally. Do you have to kind of, like, get in here and, and bop them? Long time no see. Do we have to... Can we hit him from behind this? Yes, we can! Alright, no, 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 no! Very well. That's the... That's the ticket. Get in there. Hey, uh, as fast as I can. Okay, so we've had... We've had to kill some of these things in the past, and they, they have quite a lot of survivability. They have an ability here to deal... 10% of maximum life is damaged to enemies nearby the caster and itself. Wait. So does using this... Yeah, because otherwise it would just say it does deals 20 damage, but it, it would it costs 20 health to use, I think. And then deals it in AoE around it. Alright, we gotta keep doing this. Boop them. And then... Boop them. Yeah. So then we'll have these guys. So these these are like really strong frontliners. I like how it's just the pioneers, but inside giant suits now. So these are the only things. Oh, and our uh, our electropods can also do stuff. Find and destroy the navigation jammer. Gate controller. 
Are these things melee or are they ranged? They're ranged, which is great. Because they're very, very good uh, in terms of spells. I guess we'll hotkey them. New Age of Jay Barino, after all. Use the Electropod's repulsion ability to push enemies off of a cliff. Kublai AW. Um. The issue... Okay, you know what? You all just go. We have to get in there. And then we move in and we've got to poop this guy off. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, I did lose one of my... Uh, stingers. Can we boop this guy too? Yeah. So the the visualization of things getting knocked off the cliffs is a little it's a little jank, but it's uh oh we just never no we didn't lose one we just never got this lady to the yeah 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 there we go uh, yeah they just sort of disappear. Stop them. They're trying to access our database. Um, everybody's off the walls now, right? So let's grab everybody. And which one? Where is this? The light, the Leica. Where's uh, where's our main guy? Is this him? Yeah, Cassio. Okay. Um, honestly, just go. It doesn't really look like there's much we can kick off cliffs or anything. Question, does this damage... It just damages them, but not all my friendly stuff too, right? It dam it's friendly, it's it's self-damage and enemy damage. It doesn't damage our other friendlies as well. Okay, because that would be a big problem. Those Kublais have a lot of survivability. Okay, that was a very short mission. Probably just to kind of show off the new spellcasters that we have. And we've got these really strong frontliners with decent abilities that work really well against groups of small units. Because honestly, the, the health cost is not that high, considering the amount of damage that could be output from it. Attention. We are in orbit around the Plutonian system. I'm relaying our last incoming transmission. Commander, as it turns out, Stellar United has been intercepting our transmissions for months with their fancy satellite network. But today, you are about to even the field. The Kerberos comm station was Tycor's last investment in the Kuiper Belt. Seize it, and we'll have a 12-minute advantage on every other transmission. Lose it, and they will find Black Door before us. A 12-minute advantage on every other transmission. Okay, so we're just trying to set up a staging area here. So we're we're not really rallying. Orinoco coming back from the grave. I just realized Aster X has been really low this whole time. Maybe they're going to come and be the adversary for, like, the very final missions or something. Being like, you thought we were nothing. Uh, let's go. The easiest way to capture the Thai Corcom's network is to switch their encryption protocol to our own in the Western Satellite Tower. However, the hijacking process must happen through a quantum-proof connection. That means we'll have to do it manually. Commander, if you can get us to the tower, I will handle the rest. Okay, all right, let's, uh, let's go then. Let's get started. And we're positive on coin income. The interesting thing, too, that I quite like is this idea where you could you could make way more supply structures than you need so that you can maintain, like, a super positive Let's get uh, coin income. Granted, you're capped on how many coins you can have. So are these... Are these the enemy corporation, or are these leftover Tycor mercenaries, I wonder? Okay, and the, probably the first thing we want to do is just go black, black Chain Supercore. Allows construction of Minervite capacitors. Or extractors, rather. Requires capacitor. What is a capacitor? Have we, ha have we made a capacitor before? I don't even remember. Command post... We'll worry about that later. Let's um, let's just keep looking around our base, and we can load up our bunkers. Nice. We can capture some existing cores, and then we'll build some super cores of our own, and I guess um, destroy the rainforest in the in the process. Where's uh, 
There it is. Yeah, so uh, I guess the heat mechanic is the only thing you have to consider when it comes to whether you want to choose regular cores or super cores. Super cores seem like they're always the right choice. Um, let's go ahead and start getting some space marines to put inside these these bunker yeah, things, and then start looking around for more yes, resources that we can snag. Good. I'm on the job. Let's roll. Dude, crypto cryptocurrency yes, is uh is carbon neutral. Uh, there's no energy waste source, dude. Just trust me. That was sarcastic, Jay Barino, By the way, I don't actually, I don't actually believe that though. I think that was pretty obvious. Yeah, let's uh, let's get some of these these forts loaded up. I'm, I can't help myself calling them bunkers. All right, so we can make the we can make the stingers now. Yeah, okay. Red is the legit uh, enemy corporation, as opposed to like. I don't want to call them neutral creeps, but they're kind of neutral creeps. We got to get some of those repair structures out. Those are incredibly strong. Um, factory deposit. Getting multiples of those seems really, really good. You know what? Let's wait until that finishes, and then what we can do is uh, is repair our existing units without having to build too many more along the way. Let's just load this up. I think it's four per. Where you want me? Orders received. Yeah, looks like it. Yeah, okay. And then we're just making more space marines to change those. Damaged marines, tanks, and Attila walkers. You know what? We're full on coins, so let's do it. Man, that's so good. We want to just get multiples of those so that we're on a really short cooldown. And again, our, our coin production's super positive at this point. So anything new that we can make, we already have a command post. We could get some more turrets. Deposit. There's the capacitor. Advanced. It's like the advanced... Uh, I don't want to build too close to that door, because that's obviously going to open. But that's like advanced stuff. Infantry units. Yeah, I, again, I'm pretty sure Minervite is going to be our long-term hold up here. Research complete. Okay, that's on its way. What is this right here? Plus one armor to vehicles we don't need. God, it's, it's just having a global heal like that. You, the thing is, you have to wait in the location that you've already spent money to, like, call it out to do. All right. Damage to pioneers, mantises, and fireflies. You can now turn your fort into a moving lev fort. Uh, I love it. <laughs> Hang on. Got it. I love it. ASAP. Uh, I'm going to be honest, um, it's kind of cool, the concept that you can move them around. Maybe what we'll do to attack is just make a billion of those things. Um, let's grab the the Von Neumann mesh. And then what else What else can we get here? Damage to pioneers, damage to stingers, electropods, and locusts. They can absorb any damage above 12. Unlocks the, the plasma spell. Okay, so just, that's, uh, you know, obvious. We've got a... Ready when you are. Yeah, you better run away. Ready when you are. I'd be scared too. Can we do this? When the enemy starts doing that themselves, though, we're gonna be in trouble. Like when they start sending out their own repair drones constantly, it's gonna be pretty tough. Uh, okay, so let's get serious about making some units here. We're pretty far ahead on coins. I'm gonna get some more stingers, and again, we can repair them. Um, and then plus one damage to stingers we want. Stingers can absorb any damage above 12. Yeah, let's queue that up as well. And we're going to need some more cores here pretty soon. Research complete. Black chain core is 200. Super core is 200, I should say. And as uh, these gates are going to open eventually, so I'm going to keep these loaded up, and we'll throw some more guys in there later. The enemy attacks are, are decently large, so we have to be cognizant. Okay, we got another uh, another base here. This is going to open up the doors, which I don't think we really want to do. Let's just clear these units out. I see no reason to open those up yet. Zap them. Blast them. I'm here. I'm on the I, I actually quite like a lot of our unit options. Again, I'm trying to build a little bit of everything just so I can get a sense of what it is. Cools down the surrounding chunk by three heat levels. Build it near black chain cores. 
So you can use that to be more space efficient, I suppose. I'm gonna make an anti-air turret here for, I don't know, something that we might need. And then we need a factory for later. No, 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 pick that up. Let's roll. Yes, Commander. On it. Again, we're gonna do our exploration and get as much re as many resources as we can. Let's roll. Construction complete. Interesting choice that they were going for that. So you can't really select the fort once units are in it so to get a sense. Ah, ha ha! Can you guys attack air? Yes, you can. Okay, we're we're all set. Take them out. Our troops are under attack. Let's get more space marines. That anti-air turret is not in the best of spots. Allows construction of Minervite extractors. Yeah, sure. And then there was another base we could take up here, so let's move up and get this show on the road. And again, there were turrets up here, so again, I think we're just going to end up accidentally opening up the way for more enemies to get to us. It's unclear where they're attacking us from. It must be through here. Again, I'm, I'm, I really don't want to open up the doors until I absolutely have to, though. I mean, the main thing is if we if we move our units up towards the front. Uh, let's hotkey this. Just make Lycas. Ready when you are. On it. Then we can take these concrete covers and keep ourselves Sounds covered. <laughs> concrete covers I'm covered. Sure. Um, for when. Let's get oh, back up. For when they attack us from up here as well. So just keep making marines, and we're gonna get them inside these covers. Yeah, yeah, exa exactly. So now they're gonna take reduced damage. You guys just go ahead and attack. It's a lot of turrets, but I think we definitely can't. <laughs> we definitely can't. They, that's fine. We can get him back up. Um, what was the anti-air turret? Is it here? Heat sink, yeah, plasma totem we need. Okay, no worries. And then he's back up. Can he attack air units? Is this is this what's happening right now? I think he can. Look at that. Okay. Load this up for later. Oh, well, I probably shouldn't have done that. Okay, let's just hang out up here for now. Again, we're going to need more defense down in this location. Let's get one more super core down here just for that uh, that one space. The, the coolant towers are fine. Like, we maybe we'll consider that for later, but we don't need to worry about that right now. Let's get them. Let's move on down here. Again, there's multiple directions they can attack us from. So let's uh, let's get another fort over here. We can mostly focus on units at this point. So our uh, our stingers are more coin than minervite. Construction complete. And turrets, I think, are relatively cheap. So we can set up a few up here too. Man, the um, the sight range on these guys is miserable when they're inside the cover, isn't it? Um, so that didn't open, but this one did? Is that what happened here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. And then further, let's get a few more repair structures. Capacitor, extractor. Oh, heat plus 10. For these extractors. I'm going to build one of them. We, we've really got to... We gotta get in here and clean this up for sure. Again, they're gonna keep attacking through this direction as well. Um, let's get a second barracks and then keep making Lycas. No, get a few electropods. That this very very strong unit with the um, the plasma charge. Mantises and fireflies sound like something from like an air air unit structure that we don't have yet. Uh, yeah, second barracks. Don't chase too far, don't chase too far. 
marked up. Ready when you are. And then we're gonna hotkey these electropods so that we can actually use them. Let's keep making space marines a solid core foundation to all armies. Construction complete. All units. Um, yes, that was a Halo Wars reference that came out of nowhere. Complete. You didn't think you'd ever see it again. All units. Uh, okay, get up here. Repair. I would like another anti-air tower here as well. Uh, again, so we can fully automate our economy at a certain point. Where it's really just heat, which is entirely space dependent. Which is an interesting concept. Okay, let's grab another super core. Again, there's plenty of available heat squares, so I don't need to worry about building things that can sink heat at this point. Lycos really don't cost that much coin. I did queue up a lot of units, so this is what I get. Yeah, kinetic bubble. I am incredibly intrigued by. Again, as long as you're watching and you just deploy a little healing guy every time you're getting attacked, man, you're, you're square. We're square. We're good. I'm gonna even make another one of those. I, honestly, I think these deposits are... Is that is that what I'm looking at? Yeah, I honestly think these deposits are, like, the easily the strongest... ...things. How dare you attack those? Alright, let's get multiple... ...multiple towers. Okay, and I don't think we need that many anti-air towers to cover. I guess, can these guys repair? No, so you have to build the repair structures, which is, in theory, fine. Let's see. We also want to get... I swear, where was that? There was like a... Construction complete. There it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Armor to vehicles is what we want. Okay, our coin production is picking up. I can see now where you're gonna we're gonna need like way more coin production in the in the grand scheme here. All right, I think this army is decent. Where are my um? Yeah, these guys. We want to hotkey these. Kinetic bubble, and then can you all also use kinetic bubble? Oh, it's just electropods. I don't know where I got the impression that it was something else that could use that. That's fine. So we can use that on other units. Like, we would throw that on our, um... Stingers. We could... I mean, we don't have to wait. Let's go. You can now turn your fort into a moving lev fort. Oh, no. I just never canceled that. I'm a dummy. <laughs> ignore, ignore me. For a second... Well, we might as well get in there. I didn't mean to put that there, but... Get rid, of a lot, get rid of a lot of their super cores here. Oh, and then the pioneers, they pop out of the... That's neat. Well, in that case, definitely get the... Um, the entropy grenade, because we might actually be using that at some point. It's a pretty large base up here. Again, it's difficult for me to actually finish the job. We're just going to keep making Laikas. Laikas? Man, those things are beefy. Like, I can make them myself as well. I actually really like how uh, the, the pioneers pop out of the stingers. Really, really neat. Well, the one unit that needed to benefit from that isn't going to. See, they've got a lot of uh, repair guys, too. So I think maybe we have to consider focusing down. Their uh, ability to, to repair like that. I mean, I made a lot of them, too, so... Just keep moving in, focusing down there. Units specifically. I don't know. I don't know in this game if the enemies are constrained by anything or not, like resources or what. It looks like eventually air units dock at the cores. Did you notice that? 
Okay, let's focus down their deposits. Who's looking for action? I'm trying to get these. I'm trying to get more units up to the front. And let's just keep throwing down heals. Though we have to be careful because it's not like we can just throw our uh, repair drones and fly them through enemy territory. Our troops are under attack. I'm on the job. We're gonna move in. Yes, keep focus man. firing. I moved out of the repair area. Okay, we did we did gut a lot of their ability to mine cryptocurrency. This looks important. Yep. Okay. Never mind. They. I swear it looked like one of these um, widows were was docked at a black chain core. Maybe I'm crazy, but it really looked that way. So the enemy has. How dare you! Immediately just start to rebuild it. The enemy has a lot of repair functionality that it's going to use automatically and in in very quick succession. Kind of like, you know, any other RTSG player where the enemy rebuilds and is very fast in doing so. So we have to be cognizant of that. And try to focus fire down in crucial structures. I really didn't use any of my spellcasters. I mean, that, that, that energy bubble is going to be key. We're going to be using that a lot in the future, trust me. Okay, let's just focus down these turrets. Um, but yeah, we will be using those quite a bit. It's just um, there really weren't there weren't any clumped up groups of enemy units. This is more just fighting. They're like fighting a guerrilla war, if anything, against us, slowly trying to chip away at us while we attack. So we just have to keep the pressure on, as opposed to building. What is this? Not taking. There it is. Not taking any damage. We're good. Um, oh, we're actually there. Our are well, you know what? Let's explore more. It actually looks like we could um, garrison that up. We learned a lot of of stuff here, for sure. We learned a lot of the different options of things that we can use. I'm going to get a bunch more stingers. And again, you get multiple units for those. Um, I'm going to make those electropods and actually use them in the future. We have decently positive... I'm here. We have decently positive coin income. Obviously, we can make way more super cores and build uh, coolant in order to help. Honestly, just like the, the mass marine still seems pretty good, especially because you can dodge the the Laika shots, which is actually pretty huge. Because that's, I mean, I, I think those Laika shots do a lot of damage in maybe in like some mild AOE. So if you could just walk out of the way, it's potentially that you could just mac, you could just micro well with a bunch of marines and, be, and just be all set. It doesn't seem like red is going to attack us anymore. It's also possible that we were expected to go for the objective rather than destroy the enemy base. So let's, yeah, let's explore a little bit more. There are still doors that can be opened. Wait, did they rebuild a... Uh, they just they just have more stuff around the, the map, but the yeah, there's uh, they have repairing structures, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I haven't really leaned much into defensive structures. Again, I like the idea that you could build a bunch of bunkers. We are deeply negative at this point. When did that happen? Um, you know what? I do know. I know what happened. Um, the game just lets you go negative, and then you lose coins in the grand scheme. So let's build super cores. Show me the spread way. them out. Okay, Cassio, give him uh, the blast. So we have a second red base down here. I think we should just take this out now before even bothering with the objective. It's possible that we're not we're doing this sort of in an unintended manner. Where the map expects you to leave the red bases alive and go straight for the objective, and then the bases build units and send them at you to kill you. But we're gonna just not do that. We're gonna destroy the enemy bases. I mean the the holdout mission they spawned units to attack you, so it's possible that it won't even be a thing. I really like how you can just you can just clump your units up and fit through any space. Let's get rid of their their town center first. Their TC. That's you know you know you know how it happens. You know what I'm talking about. Um, it looks like this door doesn't really matter because oh we can actually attack that. 
Uh, okay, well, we got plenty of units up here. Let's hotkey our electropods and consider using the, uh, the little zappy um, protection orbs or whatever. I don't know why I said that they were zappy, but, you know. I like the look of that grenade. It's just like a big demolition package they just chuck. Get in there. I'm gonna get some more electropods. Honestly. Um, I think if we're gonna be doing like a holdout mission and they're if they're gonna be spawning units, that they would have been really good on the holdout mission too, because again, you're getting hit by lots and lots of small units. That's the perfect time to use that ability. Okay, so I think we've effectively wiped the enemy from this map at this point. Again, that's where we're trying to go. The gate is destroyed now. I think I should just make like 20 of those repair structures. I feel like that really couldn't hurt. Um, the other idea too is to make a bunch of the fortresses, or the forts rather, and then just move them over here for, for later. Uh, I feel like it's going to take a while for it to move all the way up there, so we can use this time to explore a little bit more, though I do think that we've pretty much revealed the whole map. Then we get Cassio into position. Yes, Commander. Let's roll. We're negative again. Again, it's it, it's it's interesting how there's never it's not really supply blockage per se. If you can avoid if you have enough coins at the time to queue the unit up, it, the game will let you. Maintenance is too expensive. But the game also just can't will let you go negative. So let's let's try to get into like super positive with our cores. Okay, we got plenty of space around the map. So rather than forcing ourselves to make uh, whatever those things are called, um, the coolant towers. Until I'm like really constrained on space, I'm not gonna worry about that. Where's Cassio? I thought I had him hot keyed. Oh, okay. Go ahead, buddy. Received. I've reached the satellite tower, yes. but we should only start the upload process once the area is secured. I'm here. Sounds good. Construction complete. Is the area not secured? Commander, keep an eye out. Start uplink. Cassio reporting. Okay, it's only two minutes. We got a pretty nice sized <laughs> army here. Cover me while I finish the upload. I hope that thing landing didn't kill the units that were underneath it, because I'd be a little be a little cheesed about that. I like how they're just dropping in with with straight up bunkers on top of us. Where you want me? Business as usual. I, I like the tools at our disposal. Don't get me wrong. I just don't really necessarily feel the need to have to use them. So I think I'll just, you know, I will be using them at times even though it doesn't feel like I need. But I'm also on the easier difficulty. I think maybe when the game released, the, there was only one difficulty and then hard was added later. I might be totally wrong about that. Got him. Get roasted. Go ahead and give, give some bubbles to my... Dude, so in the future, when we're attacking an enemy base, we want to make like six of these electropods and then just toss the protective bubble on six stingers and then we go. Like, that's going to be. What's up? That's going to be the way to do it. Because again, they just. It's not that they're completely invulnerable in the sense that they're not targetable, like a Divine Shield, for example. Um, the difference is that they reflect damage. So they can actually absorb all the heat from all incoming sources. Um, now, to be fair, I think if I read correctly, it says this will reflect all damage taken for 20 seconds, but the tooltip in the structure where I researched it, I think it was in the capacitor, said that it was all damage above a certain amount. So that's also something to consider. Also notice how quickly we got back to full coinage. So I actually think, economically, it makes sense to just make as many rovers as possible early on, and then just go crazy on cores. Like, you want to get as many super cores out and kind of build a perimeter around the area you can build them as early as possible. To maximize, it's not so much building a bank, but making the ability uh, to replenish your coins fast enough to replenish an army quickly. Commander, you've once Actually, again... Actually, wait, wait, please. 
<laughs> I think I'm done for today. We'll be back next time for the next mission. I think the missions are going to become long enough now. Where they could probably take up their own episodes, depending. We'll see. But hey, thanks everyone for watching. In uh, Amazon Rainforest Simulator uh, 2021. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.